Hi Virgo, welcome to your singles love reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is intended for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading. So this is intended for singles looking for new love, wondering when they may have a significant next relationship, connection. Could be your next date, could be your future ex. So just going to take whatever comes out here. Um, if you do have a connection with somebody and you're not together and you do consider yourself single, you're free to watch this. Also, I do have regular love connection readings on my channel. Feel free to check those out. Your links are below in the description box for your love in general readings. You'll find it under the love uh, playlist. So feel free to check those out also, especially if you're new. So Virgo, let's see. Virgo singles looking for new love, wondering about your next potential person. Let's see what we have here. So I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. So what I'm going to do here, Virgo, is I'm going to pull one card here for their energy. So we'll see what they're about, maybe what they've gone through, what they're going through, how they're sitting in their energy. Then with this deck here, we'll get their sort of like their soul and spirit energy. We could get what they do for their career, what their passion projects are, you know, how their spirit and soul energy is. And then we'll get a romance angel for their love energy, how they are towards love, how they think about love, how they are in relationships. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at how you would feel about one another, any blocks, challenges, advice, guidance, possible outcome. Also, if I could see how you may meet this person in a time frame, I'll say that during the reading. And then I'll mention the signs that I see. So it literally could be anybody, but I will mention the signs as we go that I uh, see. So let's see what we have here for Virgo. You can check the description box below, Virgo. A lot of stuff down there. Decks I'm using, social media, uh, how to reach out for personal reading. All that stuff's down below in the description box. If you're new, check out my channel. Like what you see. Feel free to sh um, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. I've turned off comments because there's just too many problems. So uh, I'm no longer allowing comments on my channel. But you can show how you like my readings by liking and sharing, subscribing, all that great stuff. And if you do, subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And thank you. Welcome to the family. And you get about four readings a month, and they're all different. There's something for everybody. And uh, sometimes five if you get the bonus reading. All right, Virgo. Virgo. Let's see for Virgo singles. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Let's see what this person's... I'm going to pull the oracles first, and then we'll go into the tarot. So let's see what this person... Possible incoming person to Virgo, singles, new love. What is this person's spirit and soul energy like for Virgo? And then we'll piece all the information together and we'll kind of get an overall feeling of this person. Male or female. All right, that one. And let's get a love energy. A love energy for this person from Virgo, singles, new love. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general, collective. So this is a general reading, collective reading. Take it how it resonates for you. If it feel, if you feel like it doesn't or, you know, that couldn't happen, like I said, you can go back and watch past readings. All right. I do consider them timeless, even though they're dated. Okay. There we go. That one just kind of flew. All right. So let's see what their energy is. We have here Crown Chakra. Wow. So we have 43 which is seven. I hope there's not a glare. I can't really tell. All right, so crown chakra, 43, seven. So this person could be highly spiritual, very connected to source, because the crown chakra is the top of your head. Um, and it's very, very much like a high priestess, almost kind of energy, high priest or priestess, very uh, much connected to source, their intuition, their higher knowing, all that kind of energy, very enlightened. Um, Again, very spiritual kind of energy. And the purple there is like this person could be very good at manifesting, lose, using the law of attraction in their life also. Wow. So this person's very aware, very spiritually awoken, I feel. Seven is also about being on the right um, path. It's divinely guided spiritual energy also. So, wow. I think that's the first time I got that card. So now we have crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. So this person could be an energy healer. They could work in the spiritual realm in some way, uh, a holistic healer, work with holistics, crystals, 
energy, healing, Reiki, I mean, all that kind of energy. So definitely a big uh, spiritual, heal, spiritual person healing kind of energy. Wow, okay. So we got purple again. They could either do this for a living, or it could be a side job, passion project. Could they just do it for free? Uh, or maybe they just do it for themselves kind of energy or, you know, certain people in their life. So we have here getting to know each other as you re reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, yeah, this person, I think, is uh, when it comes to love, they uh, don't mind taking their time and really getting to know their person um, and deepening that bond and like working on it also. Wow, it's a good energy. It's a good energy, Virgo. So let's see what's going on with this person. What's going on with this person for you, Virgo singles? And I just noticed Virgo, you're six, and their energy here came out as seven. So we got six, seven. All right. Which would equal 13, which would be four, which would be about stability. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with this person and get any more information about this person. For Virgo singles, new love. What can we find out about this person? Who are they? <laughs> what have they been through? What are, you know, what's going on with them? What else for Virgo? What do we have? We got four here. So, wow, we got the six of wands. So this person's very successful. They could be a well-known uh, healer. Or spiritual person for so there's a stability coming in in their home life so they're very stable a lot of wands here so a lot of fiery passionate energy very passionate about what they do they're very successful they're very stable in their home life and we have the cancer energy which is uh, well the chariot energy which is cancer and this is about positive movement forward success victory balance drive ambition driving that chariot in exactly the direction that they want to go in. So this person <laughs> took action in their life, and they are very successful and uh, stable here, at least in their home life, in their career. We do have the Eight of Cups here, which is water energy. So this is about walking away from something that's no longer fulfilling. It could have been a previous lifestyle, you know. Maybe they had a regular day, you know, 9 to 5 job that they hated, Maybe they left that and they went in a whole new direction here. You know, followed their passion. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Um, <clears throat> you know, the Four of Wands is usually my Twin Flame card, but I'm not really getting that so far for this. I mean, the Eight of Cups is usually walking away from something, you know, that's not fulfilling. Usually it's in love. But let's see why the Eight of Cups is here. Could have been just, you know, a career that they had. Oh, the tower. Let's get one more. In the Five of Pentacles. So, okay, yeah, so I'm getting here with the tower. You know, they could have been, you know, in a job that they hated, and this is Aries energy, and maybe something exploded in that, you know, something happened. There could have been a big fight, a shakeup, because the Five of Pentacles is, you know, Pentacles is career finance, and Five of Pentacles is about having lack of some kind. So this person could have actually got fired or lost their job or wherever, wherever they worked. The, the business could have went under or something happened here where they lost their job. It could have been a shock, a surprise, a, you know, epiphany. Hey, I don't want to be here anymore and just like leaving. But with this Five of Pentacles, it's almost like I feel like they were thrown out of this career they had. But I feel like it wasn't something of their own doing. It was outside forces. I mean, it could have burnt down. It could have went under. It could have... Um, I don't know, something happened where this whole, where, wherever they were in, just like broke up and blew up in some way. I don't mean literally, but something happened here where they were forced, I feel like, out of their career in some way. So you know what they do? They take the reins in their own hands with the chariot. They move forward. They left that situation. You know, whatever forced them out of that, it forced them to walk away, um... You know, realizing, okay, they're in lack in some way. I need to bring stability, success into my life. So I'm taking the reins here and I'm driving my chariot exactly where I want to go. And I feel like this person went and followed their passion, what they've always felt called to do. Uh, so again, they could be very, very spiritual. 
you know, uh, crystals, tarot reader, healer, Reiki master, um, all that kind of energy. So I'm not getting much about relationships here. Um, uh, it's more about work and career and finance, really, I feel. A feeling like maybe they haven't, you know, I feel like maybe they've dated, um, you know, and maybe even exclusively dated, but never really found, you know, once they get got to know their person, feeling like, nah, I don't think this is my person. So, you know, kind of walking away from it, not in a bad way, but just like parting mutually, saying, nah, I don't think this is a good fit. And um, so I don't think they've actually found the one yet. You know, I think they've had partners dated, maybe had long, a few long-term, you know, semi-long-term semi relationships, but I don't think they've been in a solid long-term one where they felt like, this is my person. I just don't feel like they've had that yet. So let's see where this is going to go. Interesting. All right, so let's see. All right, I didn't really ask it, so I don't feel comfortable take, uh, taking any. So let's see. Let's ask now for Virgo singles. How will Virgo feel about this person? The Empress. Hmm. Okay, that's um, Libra and Taurus, Emperor and Empress. This is how you would feel about them. The Ace of Swords. It's my Divine Clarity card. The big Epiphany, Awakening, Aha Moment, Success, Victory. What else here? And the High Priest. Oh, Taurus. I think you're gonna you're gonna see this person, and uh, you can meet them at a wedding. I'm getting, or a ceremony, something maybe in the late summer into spring, or maybe at a spiritual function, um, or something like that. I would say church, but I don't think this person really is like a church person. They're more of a spiritual person. So you could meet them at some sort of spiritual retreat, gathering, social event, or something like that. Or at like a, a wedding or a ceremony or something like that. I'm getting spring into fall. But you, I think you're going to see this person, whether it's an emperor or empress, and see them like as having a lot of value, worth. And just, just going to say, wow, this person, you may have... Um, Swords is all about, you know, truth, communication. So you may have a really big conversation with this person, maybe about spirituality or maybe just about other things. And you're going to realize, wow, this person is like great. They have, you know, high morals and values and they're very spiritual. They're enlightened. Uh, really good conversation here with the Ace of Swords. And you're going to see a lot of value in their knowledge, in their thoughts, how they talk, how they present themselves, their spirituality. And you, it's like you're going to see, you could see higher levels of getting to know this person with the high priest energy. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's see here. Plus with, you know, COVID going on right now, everything would have to be, you know, this, everything's starting to open up slowly. But um, that's why most of my timelines have been coming out like summer to spring, maybe even, this could even be winter with the Ace of Swords, into winter. So they're going to see you as a wish dream come true. Aquarius here with the star. Wow. Divinely guided energy. I think they're someone who's spiritual, so spiritual that they know when someone's been divinely guided into their lives for them, and I feel like they're going to feel like that with you. So we got the Four of Swords. So that's about thinking, contemplating. All right, one more. How this person feels about Virgo. Knight of Pentacles. Wow. So there they are coming in with an offer, a solid offer for the future. So this could be, you know, just an offer of a date. You know, let's go on a date. Let's meet up. Let's, you know, it's solid, it's stable. Wanting to get to know. Uh, taking it slow and practical and wise. Not rushing. Get with the Four of Swords. So I think they're going to... Again, they're going to know you've been divinely guided to them. And they're going to feel very hopeful and optimistic. And um, you may give them a sense of a very healing energy also. And they're going to be like, this is, wow, my, my wish, my dream come true, my person. So they might think about it for a while here. Go in retreat mode and think about it a while. And then all of a sudden, boom, here comes an offer of something here. 
Again, could be, you know, coffee date or, you know, an actual date or something like that. Let's see where it goes. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles here, which is Taurus. We have Aquarius, Taurus again. Libra Taurus over here. we got Aries up here. Cancer so far. So let's see. <clears throat> and there's that fall energy. You know, coming in with an offer. Fall time. That's the energy I have felt was fall. So you could kind of meet them uh, end of summer into fall. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So let's see if there will be any blocks or challenges. Wow. So we have the strength card here, Leo. So very strong energy, willpower, determination. High priestess. Yeah. And I felt that uh, Cancer energy, uh, Pisces energy here. So... I feel like this person is very, very intuitive. Very intuitive. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Blocks and Challenges. Let's get a couple more. The Page of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles here can be Capricorn. So I feel like here... So somebody may have a little bit of a hard time listening to their gut and their intuition about this connection. It could be you, since I feel like this person is already very, very intuitive. This is more on your side. So I feel like you may have a harder time listening to your inner feelings, your inner knowing, your gut, your intuition. I think they're very in tune. So you may have, um, you know, there's a strong energy here of needing to listen to that being strong, courageous, and brave, and having that willpower and determination and endurance and all that kind of energy. This is a very strong bond here with the strength energy. <clears throat> but we have the Seven of Swords. You may think it's too good to be true kind of energy. This is more on your side. So you may feel, uh, you know, lying to yourself. Seven of Swords can be about self-deceit or... I'm not getting lies or deceit with this person. I'm getting more towards you... Um, even though you feel like, wow, I have, you know, see this person in high regard and they have a lot of value and morals and enlightened energy and knowledge and insight that I find valuable, but it's too, I feel like it's too good to be true. This is just too good to be true. I feel like instead of just going with your gut and your intuition, I think you may uh, self-deceive yourself and think it's too good to be true. They over here, anyway, have the Eight of Pentacles, so they want to work on it. Um, you know, slow, steady. Again, I have that energy over here. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Somebody, somebody very strong, stable, and grounded, independent, you know, smart, practical. Page of one. So good um, news coming in, fiery, passionate communication. Offer of some kind with the offer here, offer here. Page in the night and the Queen. So coming also as a King or Queen. So if, you know... I think they're going to see the potential, Eight of Pentacles, about putting in the hard work for the potential, wanting to be slow, practical, wise, and communicating that. But I see a little bit of block and challenge here with that energy, especially on your side. I think they're going to be more willing, wanting this, but you may be a little more blocked and challenged by it. But if you can go with the flow and listen to your gut and your intuition, um, I think this could be really good. They want to work on it. No, they don't want to rush. They want to take their time, be practical. You know, I'm feeling it's not too good to be true. It's not. They're very stable over here. You may fail to see them in that light for some reason. With the Page of Wands, you may think that they just want, you know, a little bit of fun and passion. Even though they're highly spiritual and you see them that way. You, I think you may feel like, oh, they're just like all the rest, you know, deep down. But no, they're not, actually. So I think this page would be a knight. If that were the case. So possible out. Wow, we got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is the long-term brand new beginning for growth, abundance. A lot of growth, abundance, long-term. Ace of Pentacles. It could be a lifelong partner here. Six of Pentacles, a lot of balance. Getting a lot of earth energy here. Now we have the Queen of Wands, King or Queen. So this could be Aries. And the King of Wands. Wow, we have a matching couple. So we have Leo, Aries. So 
I think if you can match your energy, balance out the energies here, this does have a long-term potential for growth, expansion, stability. Again, having a lot of fire and also passion between the two of you equally with the king and queen of wands together as a matching couple. Divine counterparts here. Definite soulmate energy, twin flame energy. Let's just get one more. One more. The emperor. So we have the empress over here and now we have the emperor. So now we have a match. Divine counterparts. Uh, again, Aries energy here. So... Potential here is, I think one will finally, I think one will know, this is my emperor, my empress, my match, my soulmate, my twin flame, whatever here is going to know. The other one is not going to believe it, think it's too good to be true, deep down, just like all the rest, blah, blah, blah. Just lying to themselves, the self-deceiving themselves, and failing to listen to source, the higher you're knowing. But we do have an energy here of, you know, energies balancing out and finally seeing each other. The other finally seeing the energy of this connection as the other one does in the end here with the emperor match to the empress. King and queen match here. Commitment here. Long-term commitment there. So let's get five from the bottom. Well, I got to take that one too. And that one too. So we got more than five. So yeah, balancing out the energies here with the two of pentacles. Page of Swords, so, you know, open, honest, truthful communication, or could be keeping tabs on each other online. There may be a little pause or a break, you know, in the connection here while we figure this out. But we have uh, Pisces here again. But here's the Temperance Angel, Sagittarius, coming in to bring peace, balance, healing, patient energy, um, bring two soulmates together in divine time. Again, we got the moon energy. We got Pisces again. So I feel like we got a lot of Pisces here. So I feel like Someone is lying to themselves that this is going to be just like any other connection. It's too good to be true, blah, 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 blah. I can't see the path clearly. I'm self-deceiving or, you know, kind of energy. <clears throat> but we do have a coming together here, two of cups, a soulmates, and then wanting to move forward in love with the knight of cups, taking that action. Scorpio energy here. So, yeah, balance out the energy, open on truthful communication. You know, maybe a little pause or a break here, but the temperance angel does bring the soulmates together. Peace, harmony, balance, patience. Even though you can't see the path clearly, you know, cycles, completions, intuition, listening to intuition, and stop self-deceiving that this is a soulmate connection here and then moving forward in love. Wow. Okay, Virgo, so that's what I see for you. So I do see divine counterparts here, soulmate, twin flame, energy. I think one is not going to believe it. The other one already knows. But in the end, I think one will finally match the energy of the other and realize that it's not too good to be true. And we could have a coming together here of a long-term stable partner uh, for the future. Okay, Virgo, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.